Hi, Olympic gold medalist here, Russell Mark from Go Shooting. Today I want to talk to you about some of the basic terminology you'll hear in regards to the stock measurements of your gun. Now a good place to start is to determine what we call the length of pull. This is the distance from the trigger to the midpoint of the pad. It's also important to get the measurements from the trigger to the heel of the pad and the distance from the trigger to the toe of the pad. This will help determine what we call the pitch of the gun. Now pitch is basically the angle that the pad or the butt of the shotgun will sit up against your shoulder. If you put it on a flat surface like that, you can see the angle off center. Heavier chested people need more pitch. Skinnier people generally need less pitch. You can measure it in a couple of ways. You can have a device that actually will measure in degrees the angle of the barrel off center, or you simply find a square door frame Put the pad on the ground, dead flat along the ground and slowly move it in against the frame. When it's up, snug, close and tight, you just simply measure the distance from the door frame to the end of the barrel. On this gun, it's 25 millimeters. This technique's perfectly fine as long as you do it consistently with all the other shotguns that you measure. Arguably, one of the most important dimensions of your shotgun is what is called the drop. Now, this is done by running a straight edge across the barrels straight over the front of the comb. Measure from the straight edge to the top of the comb. It's 34 millimeters in this instance. This is called drop at the comb. At the back, we'll measure drop the heel. And you can see there it's 44 millimeters. So 44 millimeters at the back, 34 millimeters at the front. This stock has 10 millimeters of drop. Now the last of the basic stock dimensions I want to talk about today is what's called the cast of the gun. The cast is the angle that the stock bends towards the shoulder that you're shooting from. For right-handers, when it bends that direction, it's called cast off. You can see when we put a straight edge down the barrel of the gun that the stock clearly is bent to the right. Here we have a left-handed gun. When we put our straight edge through the middle of the barrel, you can see that the stock is bent towards the left shoulder. This term is called cast on. Back quickly to our right-handed stock. There are three points where cast is genuinely measured. Cast at the comb, cast at the heel, and one point which is often overlooked, but I regard it as probably the most important dimension of all in stock measuring, cast at the toe. If you get this point wrong, you're going to change how you perceive recoil and it will have an effect on your second barrel accuracy. I'll guarantee you if you don't get this dimension correct, it will cost you targets. We'll discuss all of these dimensions in greater detail in weeks to come. There is no one stock that fits everyone. It's such a personal process to get it right. But getting right is critical in helping you hit clay targets. Once again, from all of us here at Go Shooting, we hope you've learned something. Look forward to seeing you at the range soon.